Hello again. I'm not going to waste your time, so let's get right to the point. Today, I will be making a beginner guide slash review for the Roblox game Entrenched. I'm not going to go super in depth about everything, like weapon stats and how to play certain classes, as I will probably do that in some later videos. For now, expect the basics. In this guide, I will be covering three main categories. Gameplay, mechanics, and classes. But we'll talk about gameplay first. One of the two game modes entrenched has is called Frontlines, and the objective of Frontlines is to hold more points than the enemy team when time runs out. Each team starts out with three points under their control, and depending on what team you are on there will either be an attack or defend near the left of the point display. The attacking team will rush towards the enemy's closest point, and their goal is to capture the point before the timer to the right of the point display reaches zero. The defending team will do the opposite, and will try to protect their point from the enemy attack until the same timer reaches zero. When the timer actually does reach zero, the sides will switch and the attackers become the defenders, and vice versa. Another thing worth mentioning is the fact that if the attackers successfully manage to take over an enemy point, they will then become the defenders in order to protect it. The other game mode Entrenched has is called Conquest. In Conquest, all but one point is provided to the defending team, who will remain as the defending team for the entire round and are responsible for keeping the attackers away from their points. The objective of the attacking team is to capture all of the enemy points before the timer hits zero. If a point is captured by the attackers, extra time is added to the clock. But the gameplay is over with, let's talk about some of this game's unique mechanics. The first unique mechanic is the spade, which doubles as a melee weapon, and is also able to manipulate terrain to create foxholes and trenches. However, only certain classes have it. There are also different perspectives you can choose from, as well as toggle a bull iron sights for the first person perspective. Another unique mechanic is how the points are actually captured. The points start out 100% controlled by the defenders, and there is a mini display that tells you how many members of each team are in the point. To start capturing the point, there has to be more attackers than defenders inside of the point, and if there is, the percentage will decrease by however many more attackers there are than defenders. The attackers capture the point if they manage to get it to 100% on the color of their team. Limb shots body shots, and head shots all do different amounts of damage as well. Now that all of the boring stuff is out of the way, we can move on to classes. First up is the Rifleman, the bulk of any army. The Rifleman comes equipped with a bolt-action rifle, the bayonet, a grenade, and a spade. This class has 100 health. Next is the Skirmisher, which is also the fastest class in the game. The Skirmisher is equipped with a bolt-action rifle, but can cycle the bolt of the rifle faster at the cost of slightly reduced damage. The Skirmisher also comes equipped with a smoke grenade to conceal or provide cover to teammates. It also has access to a random melee weapon, and has 95 health. The Medic comes equipped with a semi-automatic self-loading rifle, a random melee weapon, and of course, bandages. The bandages can be used to heal your allies, or yourself. This class has 100 health. Support is the heavy weapons guy, and spawns with an LMG and a spade. Naturally, the bigger your gun, the tougher you are, so support gets an extra 10 health, but it is the slowest class in the game.
The Salter comes equipped with a full auto submachine gun, a grenade, and another random melee weapon. This class has 100 health. The engineer is armed with a semi-automatic handgun, a spade, and a unique tool called the hammer, which allows the engineer to build barbed wire, sandbags, duckboards, and heavy machine guns for their team. The Recon class comes equipped with the same rifle that the Rifleman has, but equipped with a scope. It can also spot enemy players for their team, both with the scope rifle, and also with the flare gun, which spots everyone in a radius. The Flamer is equipped with a flamethrower, and although it might sound cool it's really ineffective unless you are in a trench or tunnel. It also has 110 health. Last but certainly not least, we have the officer. Armed with a handgun, the officer also has a whistle, which he can use to quickly communicate basic commands. He also has a saber, but his main ability is being able to call in artillery with his binoculars. The more teammates you have around you when you call it in, the more shells will be shot. Fantastic. This was a huge waste of my time.